So today in today video we are going to design the connecting rod in the solid works. So this is the drawing of the connecting rod and uh, this is the front view, this is the right side view and this is the top view. So let's go to the steps. So if you totally understand the drawing, so first of all we are going to draw this portion, this portion of the sketch and then we add these two tabs. We cannot design it as a whole because uh, the distance between these two tabs is not given. We, we have given this dimension but for that we have to draw a sketch like that. So it's good if we design this portion, just this portion and after that we add these two tabs. And after that we are going to design this, uh, this surface like that, make these holes, these cuts, these tabs and then we will cut this portion so these are just the steps so you have to look carefully uh, to the drawing so you understand all the dimension and the uh, drawings in in the given view so let's go to this one for make make sure your units are in uh, inches so i'm going to open this sketch and it's best for us uh, we open this sketch on the front plane so we follow all the drawings and it will be easy so first of all i am going to draw two circles starting from the origin and the dimension of this circle is given as uh, two diameter and we are going to draw a line from these points and using the trim i am going to trim these points and then we just have to add the radius of this arc it's given as 0 0.5 so at this point we are okay exit the sketch extrude and this is given as 0 0.75 the depth is 0 0.75 but make sure you select the mid plane for the direction one and click ok so this first portion of the sketch we completed it next i am going to select the sketch and i am going to select these faces to open the sketch so now i am going to draw with this reference i am going to draw a body like that so just and with with this reference how to track this one and close this sketch i am going to draw another center line from this point and draw a straight line okay so if you miss this point let me draw it again how i did it i just did it fast so you draw a line also delete it so select the line tool track this point so make sure your first point is coincident with this this highlighted line if you don't draw it on this line you can also draw it here and then make add the relation but it is a good practice if you start uh, using this auto track method so you will save time so auto track this edge start a line and make sure you draw a horizontal line then click this point so now again you are in the line command how i am going to convert this line command to a r command so just go back to this point here and it will automatically give you a arc line so just draw a, like that so must auto drag this this point like that and draw again a horizontal line no auto drag this point make sure you draw horizontal line so this line is not horizontal i am going to select this line and make it horizontal and this point this this circle and this arc must be have a tangent relation so press press the control on your keyboard select this line and this uh, line and add a tangent relation between them okay now i'm going to add the dimensions for this dimension it's given as 0 0.75 uh, 0.75 divided by 2 so it will become a, a radial dimension or if you don't want to add this dimension 
delete it you make sure this point must coincide with this edge so i'm going to press the control select this point and highlight this edge and select the coincident relation between them okay now i'm going to select this point and this line and add a dimension of 0 0.3 divided by 2 okay and now i'm going to select mirror i am going to select all of these lines of this sketch and mirror it with the reference to this line okay at this point our sketch is not fully defined but we already defined all the dimension but the dimension of this line is not fixed it's movable like that okay so for this has a reference we just add a random dimension to 0 0.6 so this dimension is not uh, not closer to this edge just make sure exit this sketch now i'm just going to extrude this sketch and make sure you select the blind and the direction of extrusion is on the other side and this dimension is given as 0 0.5 click ok so now you completed this step we we completed this this bottom feature now we are going to add this feature okay for this feature we are going to open the sketch on the front plane and we we have to draw some lines so first i am going to draw a center line from this center and draw a horizontal line and then i am going to make this select this edge and make it convert into this so this uh, this edge will be converted to the uh, converted into the sketch and it will appear as it is showing here now i am going to draw a circle here and the dimension of this circle is given as diameter dimension is 1.125 and the distance between this center of this circle and the origin is given as 5 okay like that now we have to uh, draw two lines like that and other line starting from here and ending on this circle the angle between these two is given as 5 millimeter and we can add the relation of symmetry or or we can add angle between the these two is 2.5 the half of this 5 okay next we have to make sure this line and this line these two lines are horizontal and this line and this line is also have the relation of it's disturbing this sketch okay just trim these intentees no there is a mistake just go back we have to add a relation between this circle and this line a tangent relation and also a tangent relation this was the mistake instead of adding the tangent i added this uh, horizontal relation this was a mistake now we just move remove the extra lines this one and just remove this this portion and this portion now we just simply click on exit sketch and now we have to extrude it so this this extrusion it's given as 0. Uh, 0 0.250 and make sure you select the mid frame relation so it will be added in both direction now again select the front plane open the sketch on the front plane and now we simply draw a circle and we need to auto drag the center of this circle so just move your mouse on this edge and it will show you this center and draw a circle 
this diameter is given as 1.125 okay so this this circle is in the middle on the front plane we have to extrude this circle and make sure you select the mid plane and now for the extrusion length of depth it's given as 0 0.500 okay now we simply have to make a cut and select the circle or to drag the, the center of this circle and the dimension of this is given as 0 0.75 so cut it through hole click ok at this point we achieve this profile make these cuts this tab now what is left is that we have to make this cut so from this side to this side it's have a distance of 0 0.35 okay so sketch simply select this surface and we have to add a offset of 0 0.350 with this reference, with this reference, with this reference, with this reference, like that. Make sure it, no, it's it's telling you it's making the the offset on the other side, but we needed the offset in the inner side. So just click on reverse, and you will achieve your shape. Okay, we achieve this shape. Exit the sketch and extrude cut and make sure you select the through wall now select the fillet command and you have to add some fillets the, the radius of the fillet is 0 0.250 and you have to select this surface this surface this surface and this surface and click ok so you have achieved this cut now the only thing which is missing is these two circles open sketch on this surface click on the circle and auto drag this center and draw the dimension of this circle the diameter is given as 0 0.213 okay exit screw cut through all okay we are good to go now we have to mirror this circle select this cut command come cut feature go to the mirror and for the reference we have to select the right plane it will mirror this circle no fillet we have to add some fillets The fillet is 0 0.05, 0 Okay. Now our design is complete. This is the design of the connecting rod, and here we have to add some threads. Okay, the design is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something new and if, if you think this tutorial is good, please like it, share it and subscribe.